Okay, I am back, and I'll take the opportunity to add in some black bits. Well, these are devoured almost instantaneously. So how is chat today? I hope you're all doing well. Staying safe and keeping well and everything else is great. Okay, so we've got some little bit of healing to do. Oops, that was the wrong one. Down we go. Death, death, death. More death. Oh wait, we got... Oh, frock came up from nowhere. Oh. Cutscene. That's a small number of mythic demons. Oh, more mythic demons. A big mythic demon. More, oh, that's a lot of mythic demons. They're flanking us. The demons land on the rock with one heavy thud after another. And the sounds of sounds merging into an unending barrage. More and more fiends appear around you, many of them twitching, convulsing, their heads rolling on their necks like they've been stunned. Their disgusting flesh bursts open before your eyes and strange crystals grow from the wounds. Uh, Zenendra. A well-built well female cultist gives you a mocking salute. How goes the crusader? Don't you feel a little out of your depth here? Whilst you were wandering around the sanctum looking for the thing that makes demons stronger, Xanthus the Plagueron gathered up all the fiends he could and performed the ritual on all of them. He was in haste and didn't make, take proper care, so a few of the demons died in the process. But it makes no difference. Even you with your power stands no chance against this army. Don't start celebrating before the fight's even won. <laughs> you wouldn't want to embarrass yourself. I chose my moment well. It's a foregone conclusion. No, no, Ace Pregnanton. It looks like we're done for. The fearsome's ho this fearsome horde's going to overwhelm us at any moment. I'm so afraid. I can barely stand to ho hold my sword. Sila bucks a laugh, piercing the cultist with a glare. Not afraid, Paladin. You should be. Where's your light? All I see in this darkness is closing in. The cultist's words are drowned out by a resounding call of a war horn. Dismay ripples through the demon host. And a moment later, everything around you is filled with blinding light. In the name of Iomade, I say to you fiends, flee, for you will find no Bear mercy here. Heaven, guide our blade. That's a onward big to angel, enemy, dude. Champion, and have no fear. The warriors of heaven will keep the monsters from your back. Fuck yeah. By the light and sword. Have at them, boys. The hand of the inheritor. Here. Damn it all. You'll answer for this some other time. I wonder if we could dimension door over there. That would be fun. Yeah, she just runs off a cliff. Silly woman. I wonder if there's any dimension door craziness we can do here. Into the fray. Explode. Whoa. 
See you now. New type suddenly took a fucking shit ton of damage in one go. I wish we could haste. Jesus Christ! Okay, we might need to do turn-based mode for this. Um, can we... Let's bring Sealer back up. It's not. Wow! Okay, let's turn-based mode load. It did auto save just before the fight. Triceratops is so in the way. Failed the, failed the trip. Um, pop for that. Okay, it's the rock, which is the big danger, I guess. So. Triceratops is bad in the way. Into the fray. Oh, come on, seriously, you can't hit it. The inheritor. Trip the rock? No, that might work. amount of damage. I'm gonna prayer. Okay, I can't do anything because that fucking triceratops. Let's 
Cedar for some reason. Oh wait, is Cedar tripped? Sons of bitches. That's why she was doing so much damage. Gotcha. Okay, you can probably... Good. Ember. Um. Good. Pump out some healing. So put one back up. And then. Can you actually get around here now? You can. Good. Someone out of the way. This will hurt. Okay, Ursula. Can't target those who because they need to come back to life or heal from mythic healing. So, fuck the dredges and the eyeball. Tasty. Stand up. He gets an attack of opportunity. Yeah. Attack of opportunity, we can't even attack him. It's bullshit right there. He's back up. Oh, fuck's sake, tripped her again. Eyeball. I'll rip you apart. Okay, okay, that's one of them down. Uh, no, oh no, no, not cackle. Fuck, never mind. Uh, sleep, maybe? Fantastic. So that's sausage. Um, let's see if destruction will work. Ah, spell resistance, of course. Uh, we're going to provoke an attack opportunity to. Booty Gras, Sleepy, Distorted Mystic. Right. Yep. My masterpiece! What was the coup de gras damage like? Lower than on normal attacks. Okay. But can kill. Do I please finish this fight for us? Oh, is this gonna have to come back to life as well? Nuts, okay. And, um, fire snake. Yeah. Okay, we don't have to wait for that. We've just gotta kill one dredge. Shouldn't be too hard. Finally, Jesus. That was a tricksy fight. And 
bugger all loot to speak of. Fantastic. Alright, I'll quick save. Okay. Should probably wait for mind fog to run off. So I got six seconds, forty six. Okay, well, all we can do is reapply some smaller buffs. Let's redo fire. And there. Do you have anything good to pop on us? No, so let's take oh. some evil. Bless. No reason to pause. That. And do you still have aspect of the Falcon and such? No. He's a big boy. A figure in a loose hooded robe stands facing away from me, his hands raised in the air. I've given you the gift of strength. Arise and fight in the name of Daskari, or Baphomet, or whoever you please. I command you, defend my laboratory. Fools. Feckless, useless morons. I'm surrounded by idiots. What have I done to deserve this? What crime have I committed that the universe would punish me so? I don't like this one. It reminds me of the bladesmith who tortured me. He was an arrogant swine too. But he never berated and yelled at folk. No, he spoke softly, so deliberately, if he were dripping with venom. Hello, Xanthir. Having some problems with the help? The figure in the hooded robe slowly turns around. Its face and hands are a writhing mass of locusts. If you listen closely, you can hear the rhythmic rasping of tiny feet and wings rubbing against each other. Your taunting words only serve to reveal your ignorance. Imbeciles swell the ranks of the demons and crusaders alike. As commander of the crusade, you have crossed paths with such fools more than once, no doubt. Tell me, how do you stand them all? He falls silent momentarily, during which time the rustling of the locusts under the cloak becomes ever more prominent. You're all primitive apes, cavorting around the world in futile attempts to wipe each other out. Oh, how I loathe you all. I despise my idiot students who could not even take a single step without an order from me. I despise demons, self satisfied imbeciles who prefer to tear hunks of flesh from each other than carry out my instructions. I despise Discurry and Baphomet for forcing me to work with them. I despise you, Vandal, who came into my laboratory, smashed up my specimens and interfering with my work. Away with you. Get out. Okay. Um, instant enemy. Uh, is this a surprise round? I guess so. Let's get Karu over here. Out of the way of everybody else. Window out. Pop your weapon. And then. Divine favor. A uh, five foot step, kind of like so you can see things. Okay, sausage dog. Uh, let's get you. Doing. Uh, constricting coils. Xanthir. Uh, fair enough. He's gonna have good wheel saves, I guess. 
good spells for me to cast? No. So, as he's flat-footed, let's try and get some sneak attack, touch attack. We missed good concealment. We don't have true seeing on anymore. Nuts. Mutiny's charging? Alright, All right, Ember. Um, let's start out with. Okay, we'll see. Okay, I actually just need Ember to get closer. Alright, looks like that's all she could do. So my evil. Get closer. Okay. Five attacks. Damn, he's a tough cookie. I think we can take him. Oh, you fucking baleful polymorphed Wenderwog. Fuck's sake, okay. Um, that's annoying. What do we need for that? We need, like, Break Enchantment, I think, works? Um... Sneak attacky. Very nice. Get a bit closer. Uh, do we try and trip him? He's going to be immune to trip. He's made of fine, tiny little bugs, I guess. Attack. Closer, and then let's use a spell this round. Right, maybe Wrecking Ray will work on him. Damn, zero. Okay, so he's immune to stat damage. That much is clear. He's going down. Prepare yourself. Very soon. So. Danger ahead. Okay, now the shears wake up. Uh, how do we get rid of Baleful Polymorph? Um, Baleful Polymorph can be removed by the Remove Curse spell. Shit. I wonder if Break Curse works for that. Oh, sorry, Break Enchantment. Don't know. Ah, uh, fucking locust swarms. Okay. It's gonna hurt. Okay, Wendelwag. <laughs> like, so, Wendelwag as a, uh, as a pupper has got armor on and a saddle. <laughs> now, can she use any of her abilities to do something? Yes. <laughs> if you re if you were a gnome and you do a re reduced person, yes. Technically. Um. Shit. Oh, she died. 
I mean, I guess that's one way of getting her back up. Oh, fuck, of course. She was a fucking dog. She only had, like, 14 hit points. Well, I mean, I guess... You might be able to bring her back up now. Maybe killing her is a, uh, a worthwhile thing. Ah, she did intelligence damage, did she? Oh, Jesus, these things do intelligence damage? Ah, fuck. Now, I don't know whether this is going to... Yeah. Okay. Oh, he didn't get a turn. Oh, God. Um... Fuck me, they, they're tough swarms at that. Got a sausage. You got a flame strike, right? No. Okay, let's try a breath of life on her. Now, does this bring her back as Wendorog? Oh, the fucking turn based mode. Bullshit. Ember, please tell me you've got one fire snake left. Uh... Oh, did you fail? Oh, no, you are doing it still, okay. Fucking swarms! How is she surviving so long? going on here? Why is the swarm not hurting Fluffy? to reload because everybody's dead but kitty mvp kitty was tanking like fuck oh it's because he's got he's got armor that gives him uh a concealment thing no but that's range i don't know why he wasn't taking any damage that was weird I'm gonna say nothing this time around. Okay. Uh, and we'll go turn based. Oh shit, he goes first. Baleful Polymorph? Nope. He's summoning some Frost Giants. Oh, and Baleful Polymorph. He Baleful Polymorphed. He baleful polymorphed the Triceratops into a dog. Oh, and I accidentally ran over there. This will hurt. Uh, but it doesn't seem to have done anything except because he's still an animal companion. And it's fucked with his mental stats. But he's still viable? 
sure. <laughs> it's definitely better than it happening to Wendo. Yeah. Uh, this fight is against um, Xanthir Vang, who is the swarm that walks. Do protective luck. Nice Brackington. You might need it. Can't seem to target the summoned frost giants for some reason. Which is interesting. Alright, Kitty, you are MVP. You need to be in the middle of the room for when we pop him. Now, Windowworld. Pop your weapon ability. Good. Uh, also, this guy of war will give you the path probably. I. Yeah, maybe. I don't know because. You meet him well after chapter, end of chapter two, when you would choose your path. So I'm not entirely certain. Uh, yeah, I can't seem to target the, Into the fray. things weirdly enough. Maybe I'll divine that. All right, doggo. Alright, who's this? Sausage. Okay, sausage. Let's try... A Bane. Yeah. Okay, Frost Giants are unable to do anything. Fantastic, because they're paralysed. Nice, 228 damage swipe. Ember. Um, do you still have protective luck on you? You do. So, now we give you fortune. And let's keep both of that up going permanently. Uh, shall I, let's take out the distorted mythic. If we can, Jesus, almost. Okay, window elk. Finish that off. And then kill other stuff. No? Okay. Sealer. Smite evil. Limited amount of movement for some reason. Oh, the doggo can't attack. Well, that's useless. Can we, ah, we can try and trip, though. Oh, he's going to be immune, isn't he? <laughs> doggo tripped the locust. Tripped him. Lovely. Alright, sausage. Uh, let's grab a... Bugs fall down apparently. Well, I guess he does walk, so. And uh, here come all the fucking locust storms. So many of them. Oh dear. So who are they going for? Alright, what kind of stat damage are we taking already? Wisdom, nothing, nothing, nothing. Strength, blinded. Okay, so they're going for Ember at the moment, by the looks of it. Yeah, I wish I had Fireball. I wish I had Fireball. Although, actually, now that you've reminded me. We do have Fireball, just need to wait for Ember's turn. Um, and we will swap to Wide Sweep. There's at least a little attacks on, that's good. Right, ah, uh, but we need a. 
have to cackle to keep up all of the buffs we've been doing. Then we do have a fire snake still. The fire snake like this. That's good. Did something. Um, if she moves, she's going to take more damage. So I should stay still. Where should I Let me shoot the swarms? He did do good damage against them in the last time we tried this. So let's try and. Yeah, okay. Now let's get fluffy. Guess we'll go with Winderwelg, throw axes. Beg me to stop. She does bugger all damage to the swarms, it seems. Uh, this and attack. Okay. So, so. Doggo, don't even try and trip the swarm, that's stupid. Great, she is getting involved. Okay, uh, it's channel positive. God, the wisdom damage. I'm gonna have to use heal and, uh, on Ember, I think. Uh, five strength. Okay. Oh, shit. More strength. It's your intelligence now. Oh god, she's taking so much stat damage. Uh... Okay, good. Alright, Ember. So move action. Swap to this. Which allows you to cast Fireball. Can you... Aim it... Yeah. Yes. Oh. Fast healing 10. They're paralyzed. Oh cool, they got resistance to fire acid. Cool. That that's great. That's fantastic. Oh, she didn't cackle. Fuck. Make your peace. Kitty cat. Jump on him. Now, when do I throw axes at this guy? Nice. Sila, three attacks. Doggo trip. Okay, Sausage, uh, can you get to somewhere to heal Ember? I wonder if this way close. Can you... Fuck's sake. Can you heal her from where you are? No. Oh, it's because of the stupid fucking turn-based. Uh oh. We actually have to take it out of this. Again. I think I can push the Come on, sausage. Ooh. It's 14 points of stat damage cured there. You son of one! Fusion damage. Oh, get out of there and heal on yourself. Okay. Put it 
back to turn-based mode for when he turns back up. Stuck into these guys. Uh, Wendor Aug. Love an axe. Very nice. Ember. Ember, Ember, Ember. Um, still cackle. Can I get fortune? Can I get fortune on you again? So you have five foot step. Let's put fortune on Sealer. Sausage. Yes. I think they're paralyzed still. <laughs> yeah. Okay, sweet. Right, fluffy. You're stuck. Ah, oh, Fluffy, you're slow. What's wrong with you, buddy? Are you taking a lot of stat damage? Uh, dexterity and oh you're slowed for a minute Oof. Kill it. Fantastic. And Xanthus back up over here. Okay. I'm only going to get the one attack against it. Huh? Get to move like an inch. Ember. Uh, let's lower his saving throws. Oh, we don't get the cackle. Is this a prize round? Fuck Sausage. Let's move, see closer. Closer, poor, poor Fluffy. Ember. He's still suffering from. Cackle first. And then put him to sleep. That's stupid and should not work like that. Somehow Ember put to sleep the swarm that walks. Okay, I guess Sila. Delay until here. Delay until here. And let's coup de grace the swarm that walks. Oh, you can't. Okay. That's fine. Killed him anyway. We'll let him stand up before he dies. <laughs> Defeated, Xanthid drops to his knees. For a few drawn out seconds, all you can hear is the rustling of locusts shifting under his robe, the sound suddenly morphing to a rasping, unnatural laughter. Who could have predicted that a vandal, my enemy and the enemy of my masters, would be the one to rid me of my excruciating servitude? You're an unforeseen, unknown quantity that has solved the impossible qu equation. Such an elegantly simple solution to all my problems. The eerie laughter dies away as quickly as it came. Xanthi lifts his head and looks at you from his locust swarm face. You have earned a reward. I know why you are here and what you seek. You destroyed my laboratory, stood in the way of science and halted my demon transformation experiments. But I doubt you know the source of nitrogen crystals necessary for the process. I will show you the path to the truth, Vandal. But first, you must answer two of my questions. 
Hoochley reaches out to touch your elbow, but drops her hand halfway. Instead of touching you, she whispers fearfully, What did he do to himself? What did he turn himself into? It's not even a demon, it's an abomination that would sicken even the denizens of the abyss. An abomination, you stupid succubus. I have received reports about your attempts to change your nature. Do you think your experiments are any less disgusting than mine? Besides, we reject shame. In the world ruined, everything is in constant flux, and in its glorious. Such a pity that it will not have a worthy chronicler, no matter what the outcome. The brainless mortals will scribble down some boring accounts of what happened to them. Of what? Fuck's sake. Boring account that could apply to any war. But this war is truly a story of grand metamorphosis. A flourishing land has become a wasteland, a mortal has become a swarm of insects, and a demon seeks to integrate herself with the crusade and flirts with the commander like a besotted shepherdess. I am not. I didn't. Ask your questions. Name the location of my laboratory before I was forced to relocate to the inhospitable Ivory Sanctum. I reckon it's probably Dresden or Canavra, so I'm going to go with Dresden. Dresden. Correct. Did you know? Did you know that? Or did you simply guess? It's of no consequence either way. And now answer me this. Why was my laboratory located there specifically? What was Dresden chosen for my residence in the world ruined? Because it has a stunning mountain view? For a while Xanthus says nothing, seeming to be carefully choosing his words. Stupidity and ignorance are at the top of the lists of your failings. I'm ashamed to have been defeated by such a weak-minded creature. I will simply give you the answer, but do not feel any sense of pride that you obtained it so easily. I hope that you have wits enough to realise that this is no cause for pride, but an endless shame. Know this, I've been acquiring Nidian crystals from the Midnight Thane, a shrine located deep under Dresden. What is it like? To realise that the enemy has all this time been concealed in the bowels of your own very fortress. Don't bother answering. It was... Rhetorical. Now, let's finish this vandal. End my existence and free me from the burden of carrying out the orders of idiot masters and offending my eyes with the sight of their feckless followers. Uh, what are Nidrian crystals? Special keys that can with the proper handling, and after a tedious ritual, awaken mythical powers in a demon. The process was discovered and developed by the great Arilu Vorlesh, my mentor. She calls it transformation. Those that have undergone it are called the mythic demons, for their powers truly deserve to be glorified in myths. Um, I'll put an end to your existence. Farewell, Vandal. I would thank you if I hated you any less than my master. A Bethlehem act of a discovery burn, and may you burn with them. Um, I think we're out of here now. Yes. Huzzah! Uh, let's see, headband of vast intelligence. Old grimoire. Core staff, small key. Scare. But were you supposed to get a mythic rank at that point? A six intelligence. Nobody in the party needs it, so that will be saved for Nino. It is later, okay. Oh, it's at the end of the Midnight Fane, isn't it? Okay, Ember, we use some creative dimension dooring. Yes. No. Allow me. Okay, we can't loot that. Sure. That's annoying. Yeah, but the thing is, you would pick your mythic path before you get to this point. But I'm guessing he unlocks. 
I guess he must unlock like the the maximum level of the path or something. Touch of Mercy Falchion. Whenever this plus four bleed falchion confirms a critical hit on an enemy already bleeding whose hit points are below 80, it instantly kills the enemy. The lay path trigger later on, not the initial mythic decisions. Yeah, but you can't progress into... Like, at the point where you take the third rank, you cannot progress until you take it. So how would you... Would you take, like, Trickster and then later on swap paths? Is that how it works? Oh, okay. Interesting. Any other loot in here? Magic sarcophagus with a tight fitting lid. Oh, we failed. Um, okay. Um, okay, no, I'm not doing that again to try and pass a knowledge nature check. Grab this stuff as we leave. Where's this going to take us? Oh wait, we already know. Oh. A secret door. So how do you get through this door? Oh. Like that. Um. I think that's... the whole dungeon done. Actually, I want to double check that we can't kill this vampire, who like this coffin, because I swear in my last playthrough, I had the option of killing a vampire in that coffin. Ah, here we go. I must have fought him earlier on or something. There we go. Better. Uh, Phantom Slayer's Bracers. Now, whenever the wearer of these braces hits their study target for the first time, it must. Wow, DC 24 Fortune Save will be blinded for three rounds. Ah, oh, if only we had a Slayer in our party still. Oh well. Okay, I wonder if we can carry anything with us. On the dungeon. Actually, comes to see 1,638. Oh, yeah, quite easily. It's not a whole lot of loot, really, is there? I, don't know. I mean, that's quite cool with the swarm of the walks. If you shift your path later on, I mean, that kind of allows you to see. The beginning of a path. Nope, someone on the road. Skeleton salesman. Maybe. It's... Oh, it's Fallen Autumn Haze. Oh, cool. We're going to get this part. Oh, let's... No, fuck it. Didn't close it. Before you... Exhausted and seated on the ground, it's none other than Fawn. He looks up at you in surprise. Commander, I wasn't expecting to see you here. Here's my luck hasn't run out just yet. May I ask you for your help? You notice a sizable amount of blood pulled by his legs. A belt is tied around one leg below him the knee, but that doesn't appear to have stopped the bleeding. Talking can wait. We need to help the wounded first. I can take care of him. Um, well, let's have a look around. Fawn's strength has failed him at the worst possible time. He has stopped to rest in the middle of an open area where a deadly arrow may come flying from any direction, and anyone approaching him to help will be in, li will be in likewise danger. Uh, I mean, we don't have good, but let's try it. By the looks of things, the blow hit a major artery. A lot of blood has poured on the ground. If Fawn doesn't get help soon, he will die. 
so much blood. He should have lost all strength and collapsed by now. What? Is he really that strong? Now I... I've already told the drow person where he is, so... I find this all very suspicious. Can't be trusted. An elf seems to appear out of thin air. She shoots Fawn a hateful glare. This is a trap. Fawn is an assassin of the Winter Council who came here for your head. Grabbing his weapon, Fawn shouts out forcefully. Watch out! She's stronger and deadlier than she looks. Slay her before she kills us. Hey, Emmy! How are you? Why do you did why did you decide to intervene? You spared me. Let's say I'm repaying the debt. She studies you firmly. Or do you think since I'm a drow, I don't ha know the meaning of honor? Uh, why would Fawn want to kill me? He's a cleanup operative of the Winter Council, a cutthroat tasked by a bunch of powerful scumbags to hide inconvenient truths and to wash the dirt from other people's good name with the blood of those who the poor fortune learn um, learning such truths. Fawn mutters, his face scrunched up in contempt. Another lie. Will you ever tire of your deceit, accursed wretch? Trap, what are you talking about? His wound is just for show. He's unharmed and full of strength. His goal is to lure you into his... Lure you in so his cronies can attack you. I bet they're hiding nearby, waiting for the right moment. An ambush. Who is lying to us? Her or your own eyes? I believe, Kalisa. Fawn, your deception ends here. Good, I'm glad you're doing well, Emmy. Fawn stands up nonchalantly. His movements make it obvious that his injured leg was nothing more than a trick. That is a shame. If you had just believed me, this would have been over far more quickly and painfully. It's unlikely like that my associates will grant you an easy death now. Not hiding his contempt, Fawn nods in the direction of Dark Elves that have appeared out of the shadows. Whom do you really serve? I serve my people and no one else. Being an elf is not just a privilege, it's an obligation that I bear with honour, no matter how heavy it may weigh on me at times. Liar, you serve a pack of unscrupulous scum, a clique of self-righteous schemers. In order to protect their lies, you murder the innocent and hide behind your words like duty. What have you gone mad? I was tasked with keeping the secrets that Calicia discovered from getting out, knowing your reputation or certain you would otherwise have unearthed him in short order. And therefore, I had no choice but to do this. No one is to blame for this. It's just the way things turned out. And why did you ask for my help in your hunt for Calissa? I would have preferred to keep you uninvolved in this matter. Put her to death myself. Then I wouldn't have killed you as well. But after my first clash with her, I realised they didn't have the strength. Thus, I decided to use you instead. Proved... I provided some motivation. Except those skirmishes with the drow so that my words seem more plausible. I regret that I now stoop to such baseness. What I regret even more is that it failed to produce results. Uh, you'll pay for your deception, elf. I'm sorry for having to do this. Believe me, I find no pleasure in carrying out this order. But our desires are secondary importance in this Do not Do not waver! Well, you guys are fucked. Uh, oh. <laughs> I didn't get intimidated, that sucked. Uh, let's try and... Sleep? Ah. Oh. Oh, he's immune. Oh, of course, it's magical sleep. He's an elf. They're all elves. Oh, no. Alright, Winter Elk. Uh, Blitz. Fuck. Okay. Uh, the plan. It's just gonna have to wait. Just 
two, three drow fences on him. Visible is uh, a pain in the ass. Um, so we're raging, and then I guess we'll just attack. <laughs> I love it when that happens. And uh, let's charge this guy. Bollocks. Sausage. Do you, you haven't got prepared a. Uh, no. So let's do a bless. Right. Hopefully she's just down, not dead, because that sucks story wise. Right. Oh, Ember, you don't have to spell it anymore because I changed things. Um, Right, innovation. Hmm. Minus a level, not bad. And. Honestly, I think we can come out of turn based. We just focus down the fences. Yeah, because everyone's paralyzed still. The inheritor, guide my blade. Uh, uh. Even in the face of death, Thorn keeps a calm, melancholic expression. I knew I'd die like this, on the edge of the world, defending the threads of nobility that weave my race into a single glorious nation. Well, at least I did not die in vain. Um, whose orders were you following? You think that, since I'm a death door, I reveal the secrets of my superiors? You're mistaken. I and others like me know to make a heart stop before treacherous words can spill out of our mouths. I will remain loyal till the end. There, yeah, just die already, you backstabbing wretch. Fawn closes his eyes, and a quiet, peaceful breath escapes his lips. Escapes his lips. His chest stops heaving, and the fingers he had wrapped around his weapon go limp. There's a deep bitterness in her voice. He even managed to die gracefully, despite being a complete scoundrel. Can I finally get an explanation of what just happened? Fawn wasn't a dark hunter, he was just a hunter. He served the Winter Council, a powerful elven organisation. It wants me dead because I've learned of a very dark secret. That's why they sent Fawn to kill me, everyone I could have potentially told about it. Meaning you, soldier. Tell with yourself the whole truth. I was born in Kyonin, in the blessed forest of the elves. I was different back then, pure and noble. But no matter how beautiful and fair Conan was, it had its share of injustice, cruelty and impunity. And I never could tolerate impunity. I joined the Sunset Wasps, a secret sect of vigilantes dedicated to Kalistra. By night we would bring justice to those whom the law had failed to punish. Liars, traitors, molesters, murderers. But the further we went, the more doubt that arose amongst us. We asked ourselves, how reliable was the information we were getting? Could there have been any mistakes? Alas, it was too late. The whole time we were puppets in the hands of the priestess of Tuscari by the name of Enemora. That monster had been toying with us, using us to kill innocents. The wasp ended up being a locust. And we ended up being criminals, outcasts. We were wanted and had nowhere to turn. The only option was to bend the knee to Enemora, who promised us protection. I was the only one who refused, but I was captured and taken away by force. Then, under Enemora, watchful eye, our apprenticeship began. We did dark, horrible things, bathing in violence and spite. Myself included, I did them too. At first I was controlled by magic, then they broke me. And the dark fate, the curse of our people who... The curse of our people took us one by one, until it embraced me as well. When I saw the monster I'd become, I must have what remained of my will and fled. I wanted to tell everyone the truth, tell them how we were caught in the demon's trap, let them all know about the dark fate. But in more as hunters, my former comrades, they gained for me, and they weren't the only ones it turned out. What's the dark fate? It's been assumed since time immemorial that drow are either a degenerate branch of our kind, or an aberrant perversion, a mockery fostered by the dark gods. But the truth is that the rift between the elves and the drow is much smaller than one might think. Any elf can become a drow, 
absolutely anyone. Whenever an elf commits unthinkable evil, letting darkness into their heart, may one day transform. The dark fate is a state of soul, a hopeless malefactor who detests light. An elf like this is no different from a drow, both in appearance and in spirit, and thus they become one. Interesting. Such cool irony. The elves are trying so desperately to convince everyone they have nothing to do with the drow, the most vile, horrid race in the world. And it turns out the distance between a normal elf and a drow is but a single step. Damn, okay. I see. What now? Uh, the Winter Council, what sort of organisation is it? It's a legend. A few doubt its existence. It's said to be a clique of influential elves of Kyonin. A mysterious group that watches over the interests of elven kind, protects them by any means necessary. Murder, espionage, blackmail, no tool is excessive for them, if the reputation of the honour of the elven nation are at stake. When I've decided to tell the world the truth about the Dark Fates, the bane of our kind, I sign to my own death sentence at the eyes of the Winter Council. They don't want elves to be tarnished by alleged ties to ignorable drow. They're too scared to, of being held responsible for the crimes of their dark cousin. It's better to hide this dangerous truth and destroy everyone who's aware of it. Tell me more about this demon lord. She's a true drow. One who never, one who is never a normal elf. And even amongst drow, she's the most dangerous fiend. The deadliest of Skyrim's servants. Fear her. Her flesh nurses swarms of terrifying creatures. And her mind? I've learned the danger of guile first hand. Now. Now I ask one favour of you. I still have friends left in Kynan. Real friends. Ones I can trust. Send a letter to Ani to, to Evanara, to the leader of the Border Defenders. Recount my tragic tale so it doesn't die like the Winter Council wants it to, since I won't get the chance to speak this truth myself. Because you will have to end my life now, soldier. She looks at you calmly, warily. There are no hints of menace or fear in her word, only a plea. Um... What if you can still be saved? If there's a dark fate, could there be a light fate? Maybe the good deals can heal you. With a bitter smile, she shakes her head. A light fate? Wouldn't that be nice? But no, no such blessing exists. The road to darkness only goes one way. And I've almost reached its end. The dark impulses in my heart have been growing stronger all the day. It's been getting harder and harder to remain my own self, to resist the urges. I spent all my strength. When I saw the dying form, I was howled with delight, wanted to clutch his groomed face, gouge out his eyes, mangle him and rejoice. It's not me anymore, it's the beast I've turned into, and it will break free very soon. These are the last minutes of the old Kalisa's life. Please, don't delay, and spare me the fate of becoming a monster. Is the curse that's damning you truly stronger than a passionate heart, stronger than a pure soul? Even as a drow you retain your memory, your personality, you could still do good and struggle against the call of evil like before. I understand why you don't want to believe that. Why you want to believe that so badly. You're afraid that you might be damned too. I don't know. Maybe you're making a scent from the dark. But that path is closed to me now. I'm exhausted. I can fight. I cannot fight any longer. When you seek death, I think she answered. Dark fate is claiming me. I can feel the malevolence and the hatred in my heart growing fiercer each day as it passes. The memories of the crimes I was forced to commit are clouding the world before me. I refuse to tread this path any further, to turn into a monster. If you have any mercy, I beg you, kill me and end my torment. She's right. She hurts deeply. I can see it in her eyes. This pain can't be healed, so it'll be mercy to... Let her go. Oh, man. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Let her live and turn. I want to let her live and try and help her not turn or find the light fate. Yeah, it really is. I didn't even know about that. I thought it was just because they 
when Earthfall happened and the elves went to two places. They either went to the Darklands or they went to back to their homeworld. I thought it was the eons they spent in the Darklands that caused them to take on the kind of drow appearance. Ah, okay. Huh. I can understand why, because... Apart from this instance, Pathfinder does a generally good job of not doing the Dungeons and Dragons thing, okay? The Dungeons and Dragons thing is all the pale skinned races are, are always good. All of the non pale skinned races, usually they're evil and they're always the bad guys. Orcs, drow, goblins, um, you name it. It's like there's very few non pale white people in Dungeons and Dragons that aren't inherently evil. I mean, Pathfinder does a slightly better job of that. Pathfinder Second Edition does a fantastic job of addressing those issues. Um, yeah, uh, but no, I am not going to kill you. I never said you had a choice. Goodbye, soldier. Oh. Okay. Damn. Okay, what did she have? She had a plus three composite longbow, plus two leather armor. Drow fencer had plus two rapier, plus three buckler, plus two chain shirt. Okay. Good loot. Fawn had mithril chain shirt plus three, and a corrosive e stock plus two. So so. Oh, it'd be a shame. It'd be nice if you could get her as a companion. Especially if you could if you could uh, raise her as a um, as a grave guard, uh, like uh, under the lich path. That'd be really cool. Uh, is the way out? Nope. I've got to go through them clearly. We have some restorations left at our disposal. Um, wait. Oh, did you take wisdom damage? No, I just didn't prep them. Oh, we got heal though. So has anyone got stat damage? I can do. Yeah, I really want to see what it does. Yeah, I agree. Like, I just want to know, like, how it functions. I also want to know how Legend functions. Like, okay, so with the Rowdy Rogue, because you get, um, because you get an extra 2d6 damage whenever you Vital Strike for every 1d6 of Sneak Attack, if with the Legend path you can take, like, I think you get like an increased, I think what it's believed to be is that you get an increased experience gain, you don't get any mythic stuff, you, yeah, you get another class at level 20. So then you take Vim and Sectionist. And, and you end up with, um, what, 20d6 sneak attack, which would add, um, another 40d6 onto a vital strike. So every vital strike attack you do would do 60d6. Plus all the normal vital strike stuff. 
Um, I think so. Yeah. I don't know. It'll be interesting to see. People are going to come up with some, like, horrific builds. Like, absolutely disgusting. And that's what I'm kind of looking forward to. I'm looking forward to that point where I have I have a save game just before the very end fight um, and I'm close to being able to... Or I have a save game at the last point where you can respec. I'm having max max level and max mythic path. Just messing around with the respecking. Uh, this all Grimoire grants its owner three slots for first level spells, two slots for second level spells, two slots for third level spells, for the wearer's spellcasting class of the highest cast level. There you go, Ember. And then we also need to... Let's use the lesser. Okay, you've got no damage, you've got a bit of damage. Um, how much damage? Three. All gone? Yes, perfect. Righty, time to head home. Back to Dresden. I've got to ask the people of Dresden about their dreams. Ah, I need to do that still. First playthrough will be Druid or Shapeshifter focused character that walks the second Mystic Thirst legend. Like a swarm, uh, focus character, swarm that walks. Second, a Mystic Thurge legend. Oh, yeah, Mystic Thurge legend. See, Mystic Thurge legend could work for you going. Um, is if you have 40 levels, you could go 10 Mystic Thurge. How about. 10 Mystic Thurge, 10 Arcane Trickster, and then like, I don't know, 10 Sorcerer and 10 um, Oracle. Something like that maybe? I don't know, but I, I'd love to have be able to go like 10 Mystic Thurge with 10 Arcane Trickster and just be constantly can be can be hiring like just all the time now uh, we'll fight yeah you could i mean you can do that already just with 20 levels so you have 20 more levels to play with so 10 of those could be arcane trickster and then the other 10 could be um Alright, what have you got that back again? Oh, what could the others be? Yeah, yeah, I would I would definitely as legend if I was going a caster, I would definitely take Arcane Trickster. Oh holy shit, why is it wisdom damage permanent? Why did he only get it? Damn, okay. Screwed up that spell then. That's some um, restoration we need. Uh, let's get rid of those. Okay. Oh, another rock. Um, hmm, where did you go? Hmm. 
Double bad guys to fight. Who are we fighting this time? More of rock? Uh, oh, it's another empty battle. Oh no, there's a minotaur. This part is... Man, Trickster is so broken. Jesus. Uh, they don't move because of um, I'm so good at demoralizing my enemies they lose the will to fight completely enemies affected by your demoralize ability must succeed a will saving throw DC 10 plus your ranks and persuasion or become paralyzed and completely helpless uh, they make another saving throw against this condition every round uh, and then uh, persuasion rank 1 is you're so good at demoralizing enemies that just entering combat against you is enough to demoralize them. Any enemy that begins combat against you is immediately affected by your demoralize ability. So, the DC for that is uh, 39. It is broken. Ridiculously broken. Yep. Now, not everything gets affected. Some things are immune to mind effects, like the Omox. Sleep. In the holy light. Uh, oh, it says ranks, not persuasion skill. That's the description. Oh, that's true, actually. Let's have a look. Uh, yes, I've already got that. Uh, okay. So. So we did the intimidate check. They get the will saving throw. Persuasion rank 1. Oh, DC is 23. 19 plus modifiers, 13. Oh, it is plus ranks. Ah. Uh, still, it is broken. The amount of times people fail it. So, the description is correct. So, it's ranked. Oh, yeah, it's still fantastic. Oh, look how close to level we are. Because Sausage is leveled up, which means we are... Very close. We're like... 220 experience. Yeah, it's crazy broken, but not as crazy broken. Yeah. Level 15. No. Level 14, I can't read. And he gets... Nothing. Except more spell slots. Oh, uh, we need to do a bless. Get rid of those pesky pox. Okay, get another level, another thing here. Let's pop in an humble strike. Um, so we've got three heals. Let's go with a spell magic greater. Do we have... Okay, let's rest here. Let's get rid of their stat damage. I mean, we'll level up as soon as we get back to the town center. Somebody say something to you? If somebody's been bothering you, you just point him out to me and I'll smash his face in. 
No, Sila, everything's fine. I was just thinking about the past. It's too bad you can't beat that into submission for me. Yeah, if it was if it was like rank, if it was um persuasion skill modifier. Like it would be what you add to the roll, that would be broken as fuck cuz you just say like skill focus, improve skill focus, mythic skill focus, uh persuasive All sorts of buffs. Yeah, you can get it stupidly high. Hey, Locksmithin. Not too bad. How are you doing? Give us some stat damage, shall we? Oh yeah, we need to level up our animal companion as well. Let's do that. Bully, bully, bully. Uh, let's do... Come on. More hit points. Lots more hit points. Leave. Loot. I think as soon as we get back, we get a little cutscene. We should level up everybody else. You're off on a date tomorrow. Ah, oh, very cool. Oh, I didn't get rid of her wisdom damage. What the hell. You going somewhere not somewhere nice for your date? Good luck. CM Rooney. Vega. How you doing, buddy? What were you playing today? How are you doing, CM? Uh, everyone, welcome CM to chat. He's a fantastic streamer, uh, good friend of the channel. Uh, you should definitely go throw him a follow. He plays a lot of things like uh, some of the Sonic Adventure games. Hey, Gar. CMRO um, and Dog Champ Team Raid. <laughs> Thank you, Gar. Thank you for the sub. So, we're going to go to the bakery and get some coffee and so on. Oh, man, I'd like to do that anyway. How are you, how are you doing today, guys? Oh, Gar's here. He's trying to get me. No! No, my hubris! <laughs> Another fantastic stream you should definitely throw a follow to. You're shiny hunting in Pokemon Shield. And go, but no luck at all today. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. Well, some days you get them, some days you don't. Hopefully next time, all the shinies will be yours. Though we've just defeated a big old um, underground dungeon full of cultists, and we found out that uh, there is an entrance to an even nastier place right below our city called Midnight Fane. You've wiped in three of your five raids, so admitted defeat. Ouch. Oh. Better luck next time, dude. Okay. The resonant voice of Majestic Angel rings out through the hushed streets of, De of Dresden. You hear his words from afar. They concealed it right under our noses. And without Xanthir's notes, that incarnation of corruption, even I would not have been able to locate the barrier. Don't know what that is. Surely the Herald of the Inheritor can rid us of the Scourge? Ereth stumbles over her words slightly.
It is impossible, the righteous one. I cannot do it alone. But wait, I hear the steps of one who brings hope. I am the Herald of the Inheritor, Herald of Iomedae, the Lightbringer, and I greet you, Champion of Galarian. The angel is gleaming gold armor drops to one knee. Uh, can you stay like that for a little while? Every single person in Dresden hasn't seen the goddess's messenger kneeling before me yet. I assume you're joking, although I am quite happy to offer up homage to such a deserving hero. No, uh, I was pointing at my screen. This is me. Uh, this is uh, the messenger of Iomidae, the herald of a literal god, kneeling before me. I like it. The angel falls silent and patiently remains on one knee for a full minute before rising to his feet. Please also allow me to thank you for saving Targona, the silver haired. We thought we would never see our sister alive again. Uh, what brings Iomde's herald here? Your deeds and exploits, champion. You have brought hope to these accursed lands. Hope the demon invasion will finally be stopped once and for all. And I am here to aid my goddess's chosen one. Uh, what did you discuss with Erebeth? This. The angel jest towards a symbol on the paving stones that pulses with purple sheen. The ivory sanctum held a dark secret. Directly beneath Dresden, in the bowels of the earth, there lies one more bastion of the demons, the Nid Midnight Thane. It, it is the repository of a mighty rift through which the spawn of the abyss travel to Galarian. The entrance to this place is right in front of us blocked by a barrier that is accessible only to demons. So this is where Minigo fled to when, she, when all the demons in the city have been coming from. They can pass through the barrier freely, but we can't. And it doesn't just stop us, it injures us too. It is much worse than that. The barrier is imbued with enormous power. An attempt to break through will trigger a magical explosion. I could protect you and the city from it, when even my powers would be insufficient to hold back the chaos and open the way. This is what disturbs me most. You cannot allow the demons to rebuild their armies and plot the next attack right below the sacred heart of the crusade. Yeah, uh, Xanthia Vang told me about this demonic barrier. I encountered similar barriers in Aurelia Vorlish's laboratory. I have a key that can break through the barrier. All you have to do is protect us from the blast. I am impressed by your many gifts, champion. Together, we shall open the passage and protect the city. And then, we shall burn the Midnight Fane with cleansing fire of righteousness. You want to see what they do too if you get the demon lich and swarm parts. Because, well, you kind of go evil. And they told the lich you can turn people undead like your army can. If you want to watch a lich playthrough, um, up until this point and a little bit further... Check out my YouTube. In the previous beta, I played a um, an Asimar Oracle Neutral Evil of the Life Domain who took the Lich Path. And I did indeed raise two NPCs from the dead as what are called Grave Guards. And I got my own Ziggurat in the capital city. So... If you want to watch a Lich playthrough, go check it out. I'll also be doing the Lich playthrough first. That's my first playthrough on full release. But first we must gather our strength. I shall send word to Queen Galfrey. Her help may be necessary when we reach the dark bastion of the abyss. The Queen will heed my call and arrive quickly. Within a month. You must use this time to prepare to attack the Fane. The task is clear. I will go now and take care of Crusade matters. Good luck, champion. Come to me if you have need of me. I will be here, by the barrier, standing guard. Ooh. Yeah, Lich is really, really cool. Trickster is super powerful. But the Lich storyline is really fun. Okay, so we've leveled up, which means everyone else has. Um, okay. Alright, so we're going to level up. We're going to go one more level of Fighter. Because I want weapon specialization. Um, I won't be able to take it this level. 
Take precise strike. Another d6 of damage. Um, not got a shield to use. Looking like precise strike. Ooh, dreadful carnage. Slaying an enemy demoralizes your other nearby foes. Whenever you reduce enemy to zero or fewer hit points, you can make a persuasion to intimidate check to demoralize all enemies in 30 foot as a free action. Enemies that cannot both uh, that cannot see both you and the enemy reduces your unaffected. I wonder if that works with the trickster thing. I think it does. I think they would have to save again against being paralyzed. Let's check the wording on the mythic path. Um, enemies affected by you are demoralized, but it must succeed. Yes. Oh my god. That might mean that every time we kill someone, they have to save, or everyone will have to save or become paralyzed. Lovely. Uh, so we're going to go with, what was it, Dreadful Carnage? Okay. Alright, uh, let's level up Regil. Have one option there. Uh, compulsion. Yeah, compulsion. Disciplines. Uh, command. Okay. Day run. Level 14 Oracle. God. Seventh level spell. Um, what do we want you to be able to do all the time? Now, you get the cure spell for free anyway, or you should. So let's take destruction. Ha! Huh. He should get the... He didn't get it, but he should have got it for free. Because these are the life mystery. Huh. Okay, I've got Shadow, Conjuration, I don't know, I'll go with, of course, oh, a whole person mass, and Legendary Proportions. Uh, would you if, no, uh, what a terrible idea, but it speeds up his sneak attack progression, that's for certain. And uh, yeah, sure I do. Okay, oh, you still haven't got rid of your stats. Fuck. And sure. Ah, more spells, of course. Just a few more people to do. My right, Ember, one more Witch. Get a new spell for you as well. And a new Hex. Ah. Uh, Tommy's has become shaken for a number of rounds. Don't need that. Don't need that. Okay, um, I'll go with Misfortune or Ice Plant for our armor. Yeah, let's take Ice Plant. And seventh level spell. What do you want her to just spell? Bath out. Legendary proportions. That could be really fun. 
So the ones that really won four high will be legendary proportion, legendary portions, um, hold person mass, heal, harm, chain light, five spells. But which do we go for first? Now demons are generally immune to lightning, so that's actually not as useful. Uh, I'm gonna go legendary proportions. Legendary is dope, especially on the uh, the Paladin and the uh, MC. A lot of fun. God, look at these skills. Uh, okay, archery. I can go for improved, which we ignore everything but total concealment. Um, point blank master. Uh, oh yeah, we'll, we'll take Point Black Master. Um, oh, we've already got it in the longbow. So never mind, that's not useful to us. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll take Improved Precise Shot. And I think it's just the Paladin left. <laughs> okay, bosh, bosh, bosh. Ah, aura of Faith. Oh, Animal Companions. And this is Fluffy. And I guess we'll level up Sausage Dogs. Oh, we've already leveled it up, haven't we? So let's have a look at spells. It's only going to be a few slots and not new spell levels. Um, kind of want another Holy Sword or Greater Angelic Aspect, actually. Yeah, a great angelic aspect, which allows us to drop that and put in place yeah, a third greater magic weapon. Sausage, we've done you. You, oh, you do prepare. There's the second animal growth for the second animal companion. Perfect. You don't prepare. You... Let's get rid of your wisdom damage. Now, yeah, lesser restoration should get rid of it. Why is she constantly taking the wisdom damage? Same with you. Hmm. Okay, let's do window elves. Okay, so fifth levels. Uh, what does she want? Fifth level for herself. Um, actually, having a breath of life on someone else is always useful. Uh, we need two greater magic weapons for herself, and then... Oh, um, uh, we're having to put spells back in now. Oh, God, she lost so many. So, Archon Zora, two of them, one of them, two of them, and... more off healing let's go my whole person okay you're fine you get a heal you get a interesting communal Wolf. another icy prison That. Okay, Nino, legendary portions. Another disintegrate. You didn't get anything new. You don't prepare. You don't have spells. So you didn't get anything new. I don't prepare. Okay. So let us save this. 